Hey, good morning beautiful people. So we have just been on a bit of an adventure and been tracking some lions on foot and uh, we managed to have it pay off. Uh, so after following them for about two kilometers or so, um, actually the guests spotted their heads pop up in the long grass and uh, now we're on our way back to the vehicle so not to disturb them and then head back to them and go and get some video footage and see what they're up to. So this is where it all started, hey guys? Right here by the vehicle. And this is how it ended, with us bumping into these beautiful tawny creatures. What an epic morning, hey? It kicked off so nicely with <laughs> leaving the lodge and literally bumping into a rhino within the first two minutes, spending about hour with that and then getting an update on some very fresh tracks of some lions and then proceeding to follow them for about two kilometers and some heads popped up and some stood up and <laughs> got up and walked away um, you guys did well for spotting them i think Bussy and i were concentrating so hard on tracking them yeah. every now and then we had to remember to lift our heads but very very cool morning special these guys, I reckon, are probably going to want to move into the shade at some stage because it is warming up quite a lot now. And uh, they're not too far from water, so hopefully this afternoon we'll get to see them coming for a drink. That will be nice and special. So, what's it look like? Was two young males. One female at the back there. Well, I think we're going to leave these flat cats where they lie and uh, probably head home for a nice breakfast and come and follow up on them a little bit later. Because for the moment, they're not being the most exciting, are they? <laughs> Can't blame them though. I think they had a really long night. We live on different schedules. So them being most active at night and then doing this for the majority of the day, typically, especially when it heats up. So thanks for gracing us with your presence and uh, we'll catch you a bit later. So we've made it back to this little group of lions, not too sure which individuals they actually are. We're thinking possibly Timbavati River Pride or even maybe some breakaways from the Jacaranda Pride. But in all honesty, not too sure. So if you guys know, please let us know down in the comments. Um, the sun has just set. They were very lazy when we came back a bit earlier. Oh, look at that. There we go. Some nice yawns. Oh, and a rollover. <laughs> So, some of my colleagues were saying that these two males and this female have been hanging around for the last week and have been sighted a few times. It's my first time seeing them at this stage, at least, if it is the Timbavati River Pride. Um, there was a makeup of three male lions with a female previously, but I haven't seen them in a long time. And one of the males was looking very scrawny, so that would have been meant that he passed away unfortunately but once again uncertain but these guys are looking very nice and healthy the males looking very unscathed no scarring or any injuries around the face looking nice and strong Big mouth with a lot of teeth that, eh? <laughs> so we decided to come back and enjoy our sundowners with the lions because we were just a little worried that after dark they might set off while no one's here and then we don't have any idea where they've missioned off to. So you can see that female at the back there, guys. See, she's busy licking her paws, but also 
licking the mail in front of it. Oh, geez, that gave me a fright. <laughs> so with lions, they're the largest social cats. So this um, behavior is actually reinforcing their bonds with one another. So it helps them bring themselves closer to one another. It's quite interesting seeing this female, this lioness, with uh, two males that are so young though, because these two males wouldn't be territorial males in this area. We have the river pride that is now settled into this area, which is a bigger pride of lions, about 14. Um, we actually, Vusi saw them the day before you guys arrived in the morning, but they moved into a neighboring property. And then these guys have been very quietly nestling into this area and enjoying it while they're gone. So it's quite dangerous for them to be here, but if they're clever and they're quiet and don't announce that they're here, they can enjoy it. You can see their manes just starting to come out here. Eh? So they're a couple years old now, these boys. I'd say close to three, two and a half, three. But they don't have their identification card with them or their birth certificate, so I'm not a hundred percent certain. Jordi, these Ingala are starting to get a little more awake. Starting to stretch yawn and one's up for the moment. Um, so I think they're going to start getting mobile shortly. Copy that. Yeah, I think you might be right. It might be leopard pan that is the closest. Yeah, I'm still stopped here, but I'll let you know when I'm Copy that. Did you look at that? <laughs> All starting to get up. I must have jinxed it. Maybe give a little scent mark there. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie, I reckon these guys look like they're going to be heading into quite a bit of a thicket now. And we've enjoyed spending some more time with them, but I think we're going to let them be and we'll try and follow up in the morning. Sweet, if you guys enjoyed the video, um, please drop us a like and subscribe.